There's a new report, and it says that former CBS chief Les Moonves destroyed evidence and misled investigators looking into his alleged sexual misconduct. All rise, Judge Napolitano is here. Why is his $120 million severance package in jeopardy? Because part of the contract that, um, uh, that requires CBS to pay him $120 million requires that he cooperate truthfully with any investigation of his behavior. So by saying he was not truthful to investigators who are an outside law firm, the same team that investigated Tom Brady, the New England Patriots quarterback for the so-called deflate gate, you know, where they allegedly deflated a ball so that it would travel at a different speed, same exact lawyers uh, uh, did that. And by demonstrating to the CBS board that not only did he engage in sexual misconduct, but he destroyed evidence and lied to us. He violated his contract. Therefore, you don't owe him the $120 million. Now, he's probably going to sue, which means this will be part of the litigation. Was he truthful or wasn't he? And then they'll decide whether or not they're going to settle it. But this, does, this is a substantial cash savings huge. to CBS, $120 million. But if Moonves does sue, then everything comes out in court, which all would, that he is alleged to have done and not done. Which would be a substantial deterrent to his suing. You are quite correct. All of this uh, would come out. The lawyers would be witnesses in, in terms of what he said to them and how, how he, you know, part of it is he out and out lied. Part of it is he misled us. Part of it is he sent us on wild goose chases. He had us go look for things that he knew weren't there. Mm. Things which he, if he had done to the FBI, a la General Flynn or, or George Papadopoulos, he would have been indicted. Is it plain and simple, black and white? He lied. I he doubt said this and it was not true. That was true. I doubt that it is that uh, plain and simple. I know just from buzzing in the legal community, he is shopping around for high-powered uh, lawyers. He has nothing to lose. Mm. Anything he gets north of zero, <laughs> he'll between zero and 120 million, they'll pay him something, I think he thinks, to go away. Ah, that's the deal. Okay. But Does CBS but want this litigation? Does CBS want a former employee of CBS sitting on a witness stand in a federal court in New York City talking about the hostile environment that, that the formerly great Les Moonves fostered? No. no of no, course. No. Because that'll no. affect other aspects of CBS. So they will want to pay him some money to go away. So there'll be, there'll be a fight, but before there's a verdict, before everything comes out, there'll be a settlement, you think? I do. I, th I think you do as well. I mean, business yeah. people would be telling CBS to make that judgment. The lawyers would say, yeah, you're right. Get the, let this case go away. What a story. Yeah. Judge, thank you very much oh, for, you're more for than welcome. telling us exactly what's going on. We appreciate that. Of course. Thank you.